and welcome to the very latest build of Arch Linux. This um, update of today, which is this date, is going to give me the opportunity to learn something more. I think you know by now that Arch Linux has a goal to empower our users to become masters themselves and to know how to fix things and how to improve things, tweak things, design things. So updating is second nature on Arch Linux. We do it every day. And when you do this time, this is Arch Linux and Arch Linux, but when you do it PKSY way afterwards, then you'll see that only the AWAR packages are coming in. And there is something that I can show you. Out of date AWAR package Sublime Text Dev. Now Sublime Text is a very interesting thing. And let's combine, combine some more knowledge in this video. There are people out there, there who says, say, I want to have a auto login into XFCE, Cinnamon, Plasma, and so on. It all boils down to the same thing. You go to ETC, you go to Lightium, and you open lightium.conf. And you open it with the application that's now out of date, Sublime Text 3 Dev. And it says, hey, there's a new version, etc. Download now. Let's open it up so you see that it's true. So indeed, there is a version 3200 available. And it has a lot of things. I've been reading through it, glancing at it, of course, but just to show and to feel, and that's important also for a um, Linux distribution, there is development going on, and there is development going on. Also for Mac, as you can see, here, Mac OS native tabs support for Mojave. So sure, they are developing, so that's good. So this tool that I use, this is just a tool, an editor, is um, out of date. Let me just um, video how to fix that. Now, if you want to log in with Cinnamon, you just replace Cinnamon here, Cinnamon there. You want to auto log in or not auto log in, that's just one hashtag away and off you go and these guys are out no auto login and then you save Control s and that's the fun with this thing it asks your root password and you can save it immediately don't have to change anything become sudo and go to nano or, or g edit or whatever it just opens up say hey you're not root give me the password it's saved that's why i love sublime text okay it's not saved it's still out to log on like I said, this video is about Sublime Text. So combination, eh, why why do we need Sublime Text? For instance, for uh, how to change this uh, lightdm.conf. What should I do next? Normally, I would go to the website, AOR, Sublime Text, etc. Let's do it, let's show you. So you type in AOR and then Sublime Text is probably enough. And you find here this one and that's the version and then remember it was 3200 somebody said hey it's flagged out of date okay and you see here information maybe down here what's uh, interesting to read but it's 2017 2016 so here is something more recent and it's uh, some days ago that's important for us that if it's gonna start with sublime sublet 3 or sublet just like that because indeed it's different on uh, different distros you need to know that but okay normally I would say download snapshot and let's do it but I'll show you another way and not also interesting way you see sublime text def you don't go to, inter to the internet and you say what's going on sublime text Dev, and you do it with yay and you see indeed somebody flagged it out of date very recently it's now 13th so somewhere this day he said mm, there's a new version then you click on number one and that's where you stop what happened it says here downloaded package build super shift return control H go to cache Go to yay and have a look. Sublime text dev is here. Double click it 
And indeed, there's a lot of information already available. Control H, this is what you need. Package build, desktop file, and information how to install. So the package build is what is called a kind of recipe. Now you saw in the video, or in the video in the browser, that the number is 3200. So lucky guess, and I've tested already of course, but sometimes it just happens that you need to change the number. And if the maintainer has made it correct, take a look at this or control find it. This package version comes in here as a variable. So it says the source is build package version. And if the guys on the website of the developers of Sublime Text keep always the same nomination, so the same name, then this might work. Okay. So I'm going to change this to 3200 and see if we get lucky. Basically, that's it. See if we get lucky by just changing a number. And I can add some more knowledge later on. How do you build a package always with the same thing? Make a package. How do you build a package? Make a package. Okay. Then indeed, if this works, this means that the URL is correct. He has downloaded it. This is the package coming from the developers, but something was wrong. Of course, something was wrong because there was a check, a check of the SA, it's HA256 sums. Of course, this will never be exactly the same. This is a completely different one than the number we had previously. So this is wrong. Rather than going to the terminal and typing in SHA256, so what you can do is just start typing 256, sum and then sublime text and then the underscore and then a three and then another underscore this is the code copy paste it in what i've never shown in any video i think is to see if you can do it with update just remember these three letters and at the end it says update package sums that's a new command and when you run that one then he's going to look at the package build, he's going to download it, he's going to change it automatically, and something has changed now. Inside this folder here, cancel, inside this package build, he has changed a code. I suppose it's going to be this one. This is the X8664. And I don't know if this one is there as well. But anyway, it has changed. and last time it we did not it did not succeed to build error in red i go up i go up i go up may package again this time check some passes it says somewhere up here validating source here passed this one is passed that one is passed and it's built voila you have now your latest sublime text not it's that important, your old sublime text will work just fine. But if it's this thing you want and you want it up to date, then this is a possible solution how to do it. And you install something that you built yourself with a U. So sublime, remember U, U, U build it, right? Pseudo Pacman minus U, sublime text, enter, install it, run it. That's it. PKSYUA. Now we have another message. We have a local version that's bigger than the one on AOR. It's a message, but it's a better message than the other one, right? So we have now the correct version, the newest version, and the guys on the AOR still don't. And that's how you do it. All right, enjoy.